hello everyone welcome to my channel tara of nella this is going to be pick a symbol so there will be three different options for you to choose from soon and this will be spirit messages and it's also going to include a black mirror screen channeled visions so this pick a card reading um, i really want you to um, focus your energy on a person you may want to hear from so this reading will not resonate for everyone however if you have clicked this video i do believe there may be a message here for you um, if you'd like to book a personal reading i do take personals and my website is linked in the description bar below so the decks that i will be using for this reading is the in Braided Graveyard Oracle, which you can program to um, connect with spirits. And I'll also be using the Boo Tarot. So before I show you the symbols, I just want to go through a couple of things of how this reading is going to work. So basically our memories and our physical bodies give off powerful um life energy so something the departed no longer have so by thinking of them um we can fuel them and i also have the goodbye card on top because this is the card i will be throwing down onto your reading when i want to disconnect and like the cards are always charged with clear quartz so i also have a bell here as well which um, i'm going to ring when I start your readings because this also helps to um, channel spirits in. Um, it's been known that bells are used to contact spirits so we will be using the bell for these um, readings. Also um, I just want to mention as well a couple of things. Before I started this reading, okay so I was setting up for this reading and before I press my record, so a very strange thing happened well it just seems very spiritual to me and it made to you too there was a beautiful butterfly that flew in my doorway okay and landed on the curtain for quite a while and then fluttered around and then went back out so i just want you to know that some of you may be connecting to butterflies and this could be a message for someone um butterflies are known um as omens when they come into the home they are a connection to a spirit or someone who's passed on and it also wanted to mention that a few nights ago i had a vision of a woman in my sleep state and i want to mention this because i don't think this message is for me and i just want anyone to comment down below if this is your message um there was a woman who has blonde curly hair and she looked to be like late 40s 50s and then right underneath the image of her face was a date now i believe this date um it possibly could be when she passed but i'm not quite sure but the date anyway was 2005 okay which was linked to her face i cannot fully remember the full date but i do feel like there was an eight somewhere in there so this could be the day or the month but let me know in the comments if you resonate with any of that message okay because it was very very strange and that's why i had to mess it like announce it on here um before we get started into these spirit messages so i'm also going to be using my um black mirror uh for scrying okay so these are going to be the channeled messages that I'm going to try and channel first before I start pulling the cards for each group. Now, um, I probably will cut a lot of that out because it, it takes a while to get into a meditative state and the messages come through and the V will be super, super long and I don't want to bore people. So I thought if I just um, film it and then I'll just cut it to the bits where I'm actually getting messages and then we'll go ahead with the reading. So that is basically everything I wanted to say before you pick your symbol. So sorry for the long introduction, but it's just super important. I get the intentions out of what this um, reading um, is meant to be for. So now I'm going to start to program the cards. 
So I wish to communicate with positive spirits, guides and ancestors only. I allow only positive energy, entities and spirits to pass through to this deck and communicate with me. All negativity is banished. I am open to connecting to those beyond the veil that wish to guide me and help work with me to achieve that which is aligned with my highest good and the highest good for all. Spirits, please guide me through the medium of this oracle deck. Bless me with a clear mind and deep true intuition so that I may decipher your message which is in line with my highest good and the greater good for all. So mote it be. Hello group number one, welcome to your reading. So I'm going to cleanse the area before we get started and I'm going to start with the scrying mirror to get some channeled visions for you. I open up to the spirit world through this pocket mirror. I set my intention for any spirits to come through that would like to give a message. So I'm being shown um, something to do with their eyes. Um, maybe they wore glasses. Something very specific about their eyes. I'm seeing a connection to a window. The eyes in the window, maybe they store, like stared out of a window. Dark curtains. I'm hearing this, like a uh, walk on by, is that a song? Walk on by. I heard the word picture frame and some connection to a boat. Okay, so now I'm going to go straight into pulling you some cards. Okay, so let me know if you connect to any of those messages that um, I used in the scrying session that came through. So I have um, that song, Walk On By, which um, I think is by Dion Warwick. It's called Walk On By. So yeah, again, let me know if that connects to anyone loved ones I would love to know so can we get some spirit messages what is the message please spirit messages for group one okay so we have comforted wow okay we have trans Form, and we have little ones. Can we find out more about this comforted energy? What is this comforted energy? Um, celebrate uniqueness. Rain breaker. Why is transform here? Abundant intuition. What is this little one's energy? Legacy. Wow. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm picking up feminine energy from this reading. Um, so what I'm getting for you, group one, is the fact that this passing of this person that I'm picking up, okay, I feel like, you know, they were very much in a comfortable position when they passed. 
because this is the energy of someone's spirit leaving their body so i'm not talking about their illness their condition i'm talking about when they passed so this is very much a peaceful energy of the spirit leaving the body and you can see with the skeleton this is about the physical body of feeling pain feeling you know everything inside to the bones and i feel like this was like a lift that was risen so this spirit has come forward for you and with the rain breaker and the celebrate uniqueness it tells me this person is was very unique okay now i told you a butterfly came in just before i started setting up for filming and look at all these butterflies as a symbol to you i feel like butterflies are strong symbols okay that maybe when a butterfly is around you you feel this person's presence and i feel like this person took a great fight to find their harmony and to heal but this energy here is like you know breaking away breaking out and the spirit has broken out the body so it's a strong message here actually of like breaking out of one's shell you know this horse has a journey to go on and he's you know he's like something in their body broke something broke okay it could be to do maybe that's to do with their illness side but it's like yeah something broke that caused this transformation and i feel like you know we have transformed here so it is a very clear indicator that they went from this state of their spirit coming out of their body and they transformed into something and this was this abundant intuition that they felt this inner calling this inner calling of relationship stability they had in life i feel like um you know it's a strong symbol of wanting to kind of be heard wanting to reach out you know these symbol of these walls are howling and I feel like there may be some deep pain deep down from this person. Or it could be a connection to the song as well that um, came through. They could be very in tune with music. But there's something about them rising above, coming out, using their voice. And with little ones and legacy, I can tell you that this person may have had a strong connection to um, animals. Okay, maybe they had a pet with this focus. So maybe they had a pet or a pet that they had as a child. And maybe they're with this pet because little ones, you know, don't just, you know, stay with us in life they stay with us after they pass as well i feel like you know little ones can correspond to children and animals and this is all about breaking out of the cage you know this is this reading is very much about breaking out and using their wings to find peace because with this card of legacy it tells me that they made a legacy for themselves you know this rest in peace energy is here lies an oracle reader who lived by the sun and loved by the moon so what a beautiful message there i feel like um they went through a big change i'm seeing the difference in the animals here as well it's like their body went through different stages of their illness or their passing okay so again take what resonates with the living and the passing but they love they lived by the sun and loved by the moon so it tells me they had a beautiful life okay they did have a beautiful life so very powerful messages here i'm going to get you some tarot messages as well 
so we can find out more about this spirit, this person. Um, can we find out more, please, about this spirit energy? Who is this spirit energy? Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? They were a fighter. I'm hearing this person was a real fighter. Okay, the Chariot. Wow. It's, this is so interesting because the chariot really is the connection to the uh, rainbreaker, okay? Because the horses are the one who guide the chariot, okay? And now we have the chariot card come out. So I do feel like this this spirit had a lot of. Um, hopefully, you can see the holographic on this card here. It's not coming through as well. But yeah, this is the energy of not giving up. And I feel like, you know, you feel very proud of that energy. You feel proud and they are very proud that you understand their destination in all of this. <clears throat> Moon energy as well. Loved by the moon. Can we find out more? More about this spirit, please. Okay. The Ace of Wands. The Hermit. The Three of Cups. Nine of Cups. Okay. So give me a minute to channel these messages. There definitely is a connection to a window with this person. Okay, I want you to know that rainbows represent new beginnings. Rainbows represent new chapters because there is no end to the rainbow it goes on and i feel like that could be a message here for you is that this spirit has lived on um i feel like i feel like they've met someone on the other side the transition of between worlds okay i feel like they were maybe alone and then they met some familiars okay this could be family friends loved ones i feel shaky i feel like this person has something to do with their nerves my, feeling, my hands feel very shaky right now nine of cups tells me that this person lived a very good life but they're with fulfillment there is nothing negative about where they are or what the life they had but obviously no passing is pleasant or wants to happen i feel like they've made peace with that maybe the message they want to send you is to remember them when they were healthy Okay, so why is the Ace of Wands here? Okay, Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel this person was a strong figure in your life. I feel feminine energy for sure. Um, we do have zodiacs of 
um, Cancer, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Virgo. Why is the Hermit card here? And those signs could be Moon Rising. Sun, Moon Rising. Wow, Six of Swords. Yeah, this is to do with the passing. Okay, this is to do with the fact, again, that spirit, that comfort and energy of the spirit leaving the body, okay, that we picked up at the beginning of the reading, tells me they've gone to Karma Shores. So what a beautiful message. Their spirit has gone to Karma Shores where they are with someone. So they transitioned on their own. Why is the Three of Cups here? Wow, Three of Swords. Okay. So, I feel like their presence is very much heartbroken in terms of, like, the pain that they feel from you. But I want you to know that this bottle does not need to be filled with pain. Okay, this needs to be released. I feel like there's a message here of like having some type of manifestation bottle, some type of ritual to help you release things and maybe place them in a bowl. I keep hearing bottles, so maybe there's some connection to drink here as well. Um, it's like they've moved on to Karma Shores. They're happier in this place because what was causing their physical body to feel pain, okay, is something they don't have in the spirit world. But they do want to let you know that there was there was a painful experience here. Where's the nine of cups here? Yeah, look. Five of cups. There definitely was a painful experience that's coming through where it's this energy of loss, grief. I feel like they're trying to give you a message to stop holding on to this because I definitely feel the message that they're, they're in a good place. You know, it's like you go from crying to utter sadness to being content and smiling. It's literally that energy there. They want you to realise this. Did they used to make a really good cup of tea? <laughs> Something. Or maybe you made them a cup of tea. Um, can we get a final message from this spirit please? Page of Cups. Yeah, we have the beautiful rainbow again. There's so much love here for you. They are so proud. Um, there's a lot of gratitude and they look back on their youth. This person looks back on their youth and maybe your youth as well. Okay. Um, but there's definitely something to do with rainbows. Maybe you connect with rainbows or it's the energy of the aura. Um, but rainbows are always a good omen. Um, and I am going to close down this reading now. So this card be my signal. This card be filled with the power to serve a cut, end and close. I've thrown you down upon these cards as it's time to end this connection. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. So you picked symbol number two. So I'm just cleansing the area before we get started on your reading. So I'm going to call some spirits in if anyone who wants to come forward. I open this screen session for anyone who wants to come forward in spirit to this reading. I'm seeing something about a twinkly light, something maybe to do with a star. Either they have a connection to a star that they're trying to show. I'm hearing something like not liking, don't like the dark. Night lamp. Something about um, moving fast. Uh, I'm seeing like a door creaking or like slightly opening. 
something was itchy i heard barrel very strange i can see like a mouth and a nose i feel like something about vision being blocked okay i'm seeing someone wearing a hat this this i feel like it, this is a male with a moustache okay so that was your scrying session i think i saw a wow um like a wow or a dolphin and like a house um the house was like like a middle house had houses around it like lived in um but let's see if we can get you some more messages so for group two can we get some spirit messages for group two spirit messages for group two companion love and blood spirit messages for group two look we have home that's a channeled message i just spoke about a home didn't i it being like a lived in homely feel wow why is companion here be present why is love and blood here star reader why is the home card here okay so we have surrender um at the back of the deck you have the grand park card so do you feel like there could be a male presence around um but what i'm picking up for you group two is this person was a companion to someone and i feel like this is very much a connection to a relationship or a family member okay that something to do with them needing a lot of healing something to do with them being present in the moment and enjoying that time as a companion so i feel like you know there's another number six here so it definitely tells me there's they they needed a lot of healing but their way to heal was to be present in the moment and not think about the future so this is how they coped with things okay this is how you know you see these skulls and these flowers to them what they would see is the flowers you know not focusing on the negative being in the present and i think this is a very good part of their spirit but there's something to do with um blood here now blood can be anything from organs okay but it can mean that there was some blood shed in terms of maybe their passing or I feel like this person gave blood. Now, very specific message here, but I feel like this person was someone who was very much a giving person. And I feel like um, they would do anything for anyone. You know, love and blood is like powerful. They're two powerful things. And with the star reader, okay, I can see this connection to their wisdom and their knowledge, okay, has been passed down to you. You have inherited a lot from this person. You've inherited their intelligence you know their guidance because owls are very spiritual 
creatures and it's interesting with the twinkling at the background because I could see like twinkling stars and I feel like that's when their presence is more known because look we have the word star and I mentioned star stars very interesting these cards come out okay um, we've got glasses here as well I mentioned something about their eyes as if like they couldn't see properly did they have bad eyesight and with the home card and surrender okay home is where the heart is can you see this so they felt at home and I feel that this person may have passed at home or they wanted to pass at home okay because they believe that home is where the heart is companion and love this person is like a very good soul surrender means that this is like giving up when you surrender to something is when you accept a situation you let go and you move on and there is this thread being pulled from spirit to spirit and I feel like they may have seen images before they passed or something that helped them pass along the way okay I feel like um yeah they may have seen a loved one as they passed and this helped them to surrender but they surrendered at home that's what I'm getting <clears throat> so can I get you more messages group 2 Messages from Spirit, group two. Messages for group two. Spirit messages are, uh, look, five of cups. What else? Oh, the Empress. What else? Messages from Spirit. Okay. We also have the Tower. The Knight of Cups. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords and Justice. So we will take these now. Um... Okay, so group two. This person could have been a Taurus. These cards are not showing up in the view. Let's put them there. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, strong Libra energy. Because I'm hearing something about balance. And you can see justice is all about balance and you have this they have the seven of swords so they're telling me about something was off something was off balance in their body or their mind and that caused the tower to crumble that caused their inner body to disintegrate because that's what i'm hearing is like when someone deteriorates um, the tower is solid here okay but here it's on fire now they're showing me this image of deterioration okay um, with the Empress card here tells me that this is a feminine energy coming through whether this person had feminine qualities because they had a lot of love and a lot of compassion that they were able to show or well, for some of you there could be a female presence coming through here 
Um, but there definitely is, I'm hearing like bereavement, grief, loss, because it's like when you lose balance, things fall over, okay? And I feel like this was something that couldn't be mended. And it's interesting that this person that's coming through for you actually has a strong childhood with you. Now, I feel like they may have brought you up or they have memories and moments of fulfillment of seeing you grow up. I feel like this person had a mischievous side that I feel like has maybe been passed down. They want you to keep the energy going. They want you to rebuild your life. Okay, because the message here and my ear is like ringing is they want you to rebuild. So you will know what that is. But with this Knight of Swords, okay, is this energy of them moving on swiftly, okay? This is the energy of you visiting their grave where they're buried or where the ashes are it's very much this energy of you them like acknowledging this there's something about the wind the wind i feel like you're a very intuitive i feel like this person tried to it's like trying to cheat death. I feel like this person couldn't get away from what was going to happen. And I feel they want you to know that you couldn't have stopped this. Because with this Seven of Swords, it's telling me that there was justice in the end. Okay. They received justice because when you get justice, this is about karma. You know. And I feel like closure as well. So... It's just very powerful. It's like trying to get out of a burning building when you're completely locked in. There's no escape. Um, and that's kind of what I'm hearing for them, like some type of suffocation within their body. But they had to jump. It's like having to leave, having to shift the imbalance because you can see how well the balance here on this broom it's like they're they like had to leave the body their body and that's what i'm getting with this reading but the message here is to know that you can stop this this person just wants you to move on they want you to rebuild so it is a beautiful message here and again, we've got these twinkling stars to guide. So why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah, look, blindfolded. There's some type of blockage with their eyes. Some type of, yeah, like they couldn't see. Why is the Empress here? Nine of Cups. Yeah, they are very fulfilled about the memories they had with you when you were young. Why is the Tower card here? Okay, we got Ten of Cups, Page of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely someone has a strong connection with you as a child and they want you to rebuild something. Nice swords. Where's the nice swords here? 
Yeah, eight of eight of pentacles. This is about rebuilding. Building. They know the difference. They know when you put plow flowers. <laughs> flowers. They notice when you do something different to their memorial. Why is the seven of swords here? Five of Wands. Yeah. It's like when someone jumps off a cliff, you have to land. You can't stay in one place. They do want to let you know something about this. Um, they were back and forth battling with a big, heavy... Something that caused this lightning. So they went from angry to sad. To needing change. Why is justice here? Yeah, Queen of Swords. A lot of air sign energy in this reading. Okay. It's like the... I'm seeing a message of like the crown. That's one like up here is now being worn so it's like some type of security they're feeling now and there's a connection to blonde hair so there could be this could be this person or, or they're saying something about your hair there's some type of connection to blonde hair but this is what I have, and I'm going to close the reading down now. So I'm going to put the card goodbye. So this card be my signal. This card be filled with the power to sever, cut, end, and close this reading. Thank you, and goodbye. Hello, group number three. Welcome to your reading. So thank you for picking the symbol number three. So I'm just cleansing the space before we get started into this um, energy reading of spirit messages. So I'm going to call in the spirits who want to come forward. So I open the scrying mirror to be used in love and light for the highest good for any spirits who want to come forward to give a message. So I'm feeling sleepy. This could be to do with something having felt. Uh, so I'm hearing something about a locket. Okay, so I'm hearing the word Nan. Um, and drawn, be, curtains being drawn. Okay, I heard something about forest. Um, I can see a pond as well. Maybe you went to this pond with this spirit, this person. There's a connection to fish, the seaside. Um, they're showing me a cross. Maybe they wore a cross, or this is a symbol of passing. And had sea, sea sheet, seashells. Okay, group three, let's get started on this reading. We have Grandma at the back. Interesting. I definitely feel like this reading connects to a sea, a river, an ocean. Messages from Spirit for Group 3. Messages from Spirit. Okay, so we have released his vulnerable. message for group three. And we have um, absolute protection. So what I'm actually getting for you group three is the energy of water. So I connected you, your reading to an ocean, a river. And the first card you have is release tears. 
and you can see the water um, droplets here this is the shape of a key this is the shape of a key very interesting so this person was in a vulnerable way it could mean they were very vulnerable or vulnerable with in the way they passed so there's a completion here and a new beginning so they were vulnerable in this state of transition during their passing um, I feel this person didn't quite understand what was happening so I don't know if some of you connect with someone who had like a dementia but this person was very very vulnerable didn't actually understand a lot of things they needed to release a lot of tears and I feel this absolute protection here is the fact that they was protected okay dream catchers are symbols of protection they're also uh, symbols of dreams and I feel like you may have experienced a lot of dreams with this person who comes into your dreams okay to give you a message this is how they communicate with you is through dreams okay when you dream of them this is actually them coming through to you and this is another message that maybe you're vulnerable when you sleep so their vulnerability of them passing is connecting to your vulnerability in your sleep state um we have a connection to green eyes here as well this could be your eye color their eye color very interesting let's just clarify these why is released tears here why is released tears rest wow why is vulnerable here why is vulnerable here Um, so we have two messages that come out um, the Sanban uh, Val Walker and Familiar absolute protection why is this here uh, look we have grandma that's come out okay we also have the summer um, solstice as well I'm oh, sorry this is grandpa grandpa you have um, sister at the back sister grandpa wow okay so I'm feeling Leo energy and I feel like they may have passed in the summer or there was a, a summer connection here to a funeral or some realization about this spirit because with this release tears is a strong connection to the fact that they're at peace okay they're at rest this bear is resting and these footprints are leading to the fact that they're at rest so maybe they were trying to you to find a way out the key and the lock hole is trying to find rest releasing tears and then being at rest because that's what i'm seeing they had some major growth to do to be at peace and i feel like this is a familiar person to you and I feel like this is a connection to you trying to communicate with them. This planchette is the connection to the spirit world 
and when we like candles we light them for protection and also it attracts um, spirit activity I feel like you know the word walker here I feel like they walked by to give you this message where this rainbow in the mirror of this planchette right here okay is a symbol of their love for you it is a symbol of them being happy i feel like this person was very brave um it's almost like the eye shape and the planchette hole is almost like looking through to the other side is what i'm seeing i'm feeling like they kind of want to contact you this is definitely like the messenger card of a like trying to contact okay but no there is protection candles and the absolute protection card okay so grandpa energy is the energy of someone who is ancestral it's someone in your bloodline your family someone you have a connection with i'm seeing sunflowers as a strong symbol for you as well where there may have been some connection to sunflowers or you connect this person to sunflowers so let's move on with your tarot just to clarify clarify some more messages there's something about a mountain climbing a mountain is this how they felt climbing a mountain Spirit messages for group three. The eight of swords. Spirit messages for group three. Okay, we have the Three of cups, one fell to the floor. Um, okay, five of wands. Spirit messages for group three. Okay, eight of wands. Okay, so I definitely feel like this person or you could be a fire sign. There's something about um, Leo energy coming through, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay. So what I'm actually getting for you, group three, is like... A feeling of being stuck. This spirit felt trapped now this could have been trapped from a state of consciousness trapped from their vulnerability the need to release and let go okay because this is the energy of someone do who doesn't feel safe and doesn't feel protected this was an ongoing battle for them i definitely feel like this person may have struggled with some type of mental health or anxiety They were battling with their self. Um, maybe this person regretted something um, in their past. With the Three of Cups, okay, this is a reunion. This is reconciliation. I feel like this person, this spirit, like, wants to come back. This person wants to be with you they want you to know that they're with you so this is about like the past i feel like is coming back someone trying to communicate someone trying to kind of re reconcile or reunite 
So, yeah, with the King of Wands, I'm definitely seeing sand on a beach. This reading connects so well to like a memory or something or a memory for them of sand and beach. And with the Eight of Wands, because you can see this like sand energy here. Eight of Wands is like freedom, liberation, letting go. This is like they're feeling from like this to this. Okay, this person has um, moved energy. This is about energy shifting very, very fast. Um, it's like when you go down a slide and you feel that rush, that buzz inside your belly. It's like this person wants you to know that they want to give you a message. They want to spread news of their release of tears, their release of vulnerability. Yeah, so let's just clarify some of these messages. So I'm hearing their health was back and forth. Like I'm hearing that they struggled with their health a lot. Um, yeah, back and forth energy of up and down moments. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Okay. Five of Swords. Ace of Air. It tells me that um, they're transitioned. Okay. Look at the mountains. Definitely some type of connection to like where they live or a holiday place. Um, they want you to be ambitious. They want you to keep going. Um, they notice you know, when you grieve for them, they notice it. They can feel your sadness. I feel like they're watching you. Um, somewhere over the rainbow. Okay, I'm now hearing the song now, somewhere over the rainbow. Does that have a connection to this person? So the lyrics to that song is somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue, and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Way up high there's a land that I heard of. This is very much connection to a land above of like mountains, the connection to blue, which is the water, and the dreams, which is the dream catcher. But yeah, you can look up the lyrics to that song because there's a lot of like connections to this reading. Um, why is the five of wands here? The moon, Pisces energy. And you know, we have that connection to the river, the sea again. Okay, and then being at peace, you know, this little spirit is so happily, like, sleeping on the moon. Um, it's the same, you know, like the man in the moon? The man in the moon. So, this is about them being at peace, them at rest. The fight is over, because the Five of Swords is a fight, okay? It's a battle ongoing. And I, I feel like they're so peaceful. Why is the Three of Cups here? Knight of Cups. So this person really did love you. This person loves you. This person um, feels the love that you give them still. Um, you celebrate this person's birthday. You celebrate this per this person's um, like passing, their death day, or some type of anniversary. This is definitely to do with uh, you celebrating their life. Why is the King of Wands here? 
Ooh, the devil. This person had a sweet tooth. <laughs> King of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person has got Capricorn energy here. Uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This person gave... Did this person give you sweets? Did this person give you a lot of treats? <laughs> That's literally what I'm getting with that message. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Ah, oh, Four of Swords. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. I feel like it was one heck of a journey. One heck of a journey. But they're at peace. They're at rest. You know, you've got a lot of symbols of them, you know, not fighting anymore. And being at peace. Beautiful moon energy. I definitely am hearing a message that they communicate with you in your dreams. That is how they are still with you. They know you cry. But there's definitely this strong message of like, you know, moving on. Healing. Um, protection. So I think that is a beautiful card to end the reading on very peaceful energy okay so this is what i have for you group three so i'm going to close your reading down with the goodbye card this card be my signal this card be filled with the power to sever cut end and close this reading goodbye so thank you so much for watching Hopefully um, you liked this reading. Let me know in the comments what resonated. I'd love to know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'm sending you all so much love and light.